Well, that was a bummer. I had this video almost done and something weird happened and it didn't work anymore. Anyway, welcome to my channel. Hey, if you're new here, I appreciate you stopping by. I just want to let you know that mostly what I do is what sold videos and uh, videos for shipping. Just my own personal shipping. Not telling you how to do it. It's just what I do when I'm shipping. And those are usually live. And uh, once in a while I've, I've done haul videos or... Uh, or ride-alongs, but I haven't done any of those in quite a while. So, if you're new here, that's yeah, that's basically what I do. Is I just I just do I just do these. So, thanks for coming by. I appreciate you stopping to watch, and feel free to leave me a comment. I pretty much always get back to everybody that comments. Not that there's a whole lot of folks commenting, but if they do ask questions, I do my best to try to answer them. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the action of what sold this video. Of course, is for what sold this week on eBay for the third third week the third week of September 2018 so with that this is the first thing that sold is this this old metal filing cabinet uh, it's a two drawer filing cabinet I got it for a buck 29 at the Goodwill store a while back and uh, let's see I listed it July July 19th last year last year sold it September 15th and I got $25 plus shipping on that so now you know all right, next. And it was listed a while. I had three of them. I bought three of them that day for that for those prices, dollar twenty nine each. And this was the last one, so cleared a cleared a lot of space out. That was a problem. It's big. It's metal. It's heavy. It's a little harder to ship than um, a book, you know, or a piece of glass. So uh, uh -huh. think about that before you buy them. So all right, next. And they take a while to sell at a good price. So anyway, this is a, a Scrabble book, the uh, Player's Dictionary. I got this for free at a cleanup. Pretty sure it was a cleanup. I'm not sure. I may have actually, you know, I actually think I might have got it out of the free, the free spot over at the niche. I think I may have gotten it there. So anyway, uh, I listed this March 20th last year, so up over a year, easy, and sold it September 15th, and I got $17 plus shipping on it. So. That worked for me. Next, I do tend to price high sometimes. You'll you'll notice I price a little higher on some common items that uh, people do get better prices for. So I wait and get the better price. I understand not everybody can do that. People got to sell stuff. To, they got to move it. They got to feed their families and pay their bills, and and they only have limited space. But that's just what I do. So, all right. This is just a white. Uh, milk glass coffee mug with the old town blue onion pattern on it i picked this up at goodwill for 79 cents listed it november 19th last year sold it september 16th and i got 16 i got i got 16 dollars and 95 cents so i got 17 bucks plus shipping on that so okay good to go i love a 17 dollar coffee mug next you just gotta wait for them so a couple old paperback books these are uh, Kyle Onstott, I guess is his name, and Lance Horner, two guys that work together to uh, to write. Um, I guess you would call it Regency interracial. Um, smut books? No, no. I mean, uh, I don't. I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, th these are just. Uh, these are early. These are probably from the 70s, I think, 60s, 70s, somewhere in there. So, um, yeah, they're just, uh, I, I guess you could call them um, paperback books. Yeah, that's what you call them. I've never read one. I don't know. Uh, they were f favorited by a lot of people that, that uh, liked reading that stuff. So, anyway, um, forbidden forbidden love I think that's what you see on the uh, when you look at it it says oh look that's the uncensored abridgment it's uncensored abridgment and this one is savage and shocking nice all right so anyway I paid 20 cents for a pair got them at, at uh, thrift store my, my neighbor's closet I paid 20 cents I listed September 8th sold September 16th and I got 15 bucks for the pair free shipping next 
And this is a cool old skateboard. Yes, it's a skateboard. Translucent, translucent. It's a Nash, and uh, top of the line back in the day, man. They were top of the line back in the day. I had this listed for $120 is what I had it listed for, and with good cause, there was other ones selling similar to that price, also selling a lot cheaper. I did not get that price where I had it listed quite a while. I paid $4. I listed it February 4th, sold it September 17th for $35.60 plus shipping. And that's what I got, and I was happy to get it. Next. Pocket Poker. This had a little damage down here on the package. Hard to see, but it, down there on the bottom, there's that little dark line that goes around the bottom of that little red knob on the game. That's a crack in the plastic, so it was still new, but the battery was not working in it. Um, let's see, I paid three bucks for this at the Goodwill. Uh, let's see, I listed it September 8th, sold it September 17th, and I got $22.99 free shipping. First class. So, yeah, so that was a good deal. Next. And this is just a Star Wars toy. I paid five bucks for it. Uh, Walmart. I bought three, four or five of them, I forget now. But, uh, I'm not doing very well with those. Let's see, uh, I, I thought they would go better than what they did price-wise. So anyway, uh, I listed these April 25th, sold this one September 17th. I got $15. It's free shipping. It did go first class, but still, even so, that's almost $10. And then I got $15. You, do, you know, you take the fees out. I didn't get, there's not much left. But I made a little, and it was... A quick listing it just took a while and I still have I still have two of them left so I sold three now I think the first one may have gone I don't remember for full I don't remember no I can't I don't want to say because I don't remember so all right next this is a Franciscan desert rose gravy boat with the attached underplate and I got this at the Goodwill let's see uh I paid three bucks for it. Listed it probably two ninety nine. So it was Goodwill. Uh, I listed it on um, August twenty first. I sold it September seventeenth. I got seventeen dollars free shipping. It was in my zone, so the shipping was, you know, relatively cheap. Uh, but still, I didn't. I didn't make a whole lot on it, but I made a few bucks on it, so that's good. So good enough for me, anyway. Next, Cannon Jar Lid. Sell them a lot. This one I got seven nineteen for. So I uh, paid. 79 cents for this one, so that's that. Next. And another one of these. And I also sold this one, also sold for $15. That's sort of the thing. When you take a best offer that's that's a little lower, you know, people aren't stupid. They check the sold listings to see what things are selling for. And so if they see that I have multiples and I sold one for 15 they want it for 15 Which I, I was willing to do because it was still in my zone, so... I don't know if it was actually I don't know if it was in my zone, but it, I knew that it would go first class, so and it did. So Alright, next. Window kits. I got these for a buck a piece on these. So I got five bucks in them. There's five of them. And uh I listed them April twenty fifth, sold September eighteenth, I got fifty dollars. It was free shipping. And uh Pretty sure they were also in my zone, but anyway, so uh, I did all right with them. So I have, I think I still have. No, I think I sold. I think they're all gone now. But this isn't the last one though. So next, Josephus. This is a paperback book, well, soft cover book. I had this up in my other, in my old office that I used to be in, that I plan to be in again soon, and. Um, it was just sitting up there in a box of stuff that I brought home and, and just shoved in there. And I got around and started pulling stuff out there a while back. And so I got this listed. Let's see. I listed it. Uh, I paid a buck for it. I listed it July 26th. Sold it September 19th. I got $10 free shipping. So, I, again, not a whole lot, but uh, it's better than sitting in my room in a box. So, next. Spoons. 
these are interpure spoons you, Danish postmodern or midmodern or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what canoe muff whatever they I don't know what they are anyway I paid a buck 20 for them I listed them September 14th and get this September 14th 2015 so they've been up three years they've been up three years and uh, I sold them September 19th and I got twenty dollars plus shipping twenty bucks plus shipping for them so I was I'm okay with that they, don't, they didn't take up any room they didn't eat anything they just sat in a box until they sold next this is a cannon jar lid I paid nothing for this 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 was a friend of mine this John gave gave, gave me a bunch of cannon jar lids one day and uh, this was a actually a wide mouth with those circles for some reason I can't keep those they sell really quick the other ones not so much the other ones that have like a star pattern on them these ones just sell really fast and again I got 719 plus shipping on that so next and it's a palm iced tea glass I had a, I had a, a set of four of these I sold those and then I made this listing with one other one that I had so that I wouldn't lose the listing and the thing went and sold and I haven't found another one yet so it'll probably I'll probably lose this listing before I find other ones but that's okay I, I know how to make new listings right all right so I paid 80 cents for it listed it August 29th sold it September 19th and I got eight dollars plus shipping all right next these sold on true gather I bought them at Walmart for a buck a bag I had 15 of them I put them in five different lots put them on uh, eBay and uh, put them in lots and I, I actually uh, I paid it I paid a buck a piece so it's three bucks uh, three bucks a, a per per uh, quantity for, for, for each quantity anyway so fifteen dollars all together and they all finally sold all at one time on together for seventy one dollars and eighty cents now I got these January 1st or listed them January 1st I should say and uh, they've been sitting here for nine months before uh, they sold right up there on top of the freezer with there's still some imperial cinnamons up there uh, the butterscotch is gone and the peanut butter is gone and now these wonderful chocolate peppermint chunks are gone do you know how hard that was to look at those for nine months and not steal a bag and eat it I desperately want look it's bright the packaging is bright red and white it's beautiful they look wonderful and somehow I managed to white knuckle through it and overcome and not and 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 not eat them but I desperately wanted to and then they didn't sell and didn't sell and didn't sell and I really wanted to eat them and then they sold Hank Evans they sold and they left and everybody's happy so anyway I got 71 bucks so almost 72 bucks for them so uh, I paid 15 bucks for the lot and they they had shipping on them I had to I, I had to I think I had to give the guy like a I'm not sure if he just bought it and paid shipping or or what the deal was how that shipping worked on that now it's been a while I don't remember I don't remember anyway they did pay shipping for it so all right next now you want some peppermint chocolate don't you yeah me too Okay, these light bulbs here. Ah, uh, this is a bit irritating. I, I bought a bun. I bought. Uh, I bought enough to do five lots of two. So I bought ten of these at at Walmart. They were on sale for fifty cents, and they must have had fifty of them. And I only bought ten. And as soon as I almost as soon as I listed them, I sold. I sold one lot. I don't know. This might be the first lot I sold. I don't. I don't remember when when they came in, but. I went back like the next day to go see if they had more and they were all gone. Somebody bought them all. So I didn't get them. Uh, and now I'm out of them. I sold the last lot of those today here in October. So uh, it would have been it would have been easy. You know, I just did one listing. You put in you put in multiple quantity in there. And it's easy. I wasn't making a bunch on a lot on them. I sold them for eight bucks a piece with free shipping. So, you know, it was a dollar for the pair. 266 to ship so 366 and then you know whatever the fees were you know, a little bit a few pennies not too awful much and uh, yeah I wouldn't make a killing on each one but I, I you know it was three four bucks on them you know so anyway yeah uh, yeah 
then it's not going to happen. So, because I didn't, I didn't jump in and, and and take the plunge and get her done. So anyway, yeah, paid a buck for the pair. Listed September 10th, sold September 20th. I got eight bucks, free shipping. So next, are you ready? Hardest working man in rock and roll, James Brown. This is a VHS tape. Got this. I think I got it in a, in a bag lot at the at the niche. It says I paid 13 cents for it, so that would probably almost have to be where I got it. I listed this May 11th last year. Sold it September 20th. I got ten dollars uh, plus shipping. So ten dollars plus shipping for a VHS tape works for me. Next, air conditioning filters. These were shipped first class. They did go free shipping. I paid a buck a piece for them at Walmart, and uh, I took them all when they had them. There was 11 of them, so I have two lots of five, and then I have an extra one floating around uh, that I, I didn't do anything with. So anyway, yeah, five bucks for the lot. Listed September 7th, sold September 20th. I got $22 free shipping. So, And again, like I said, first class. So next. Can jar lid. This is a blue one. I don't know what the deal is. It's kind of a blue. It's like bluish. It's not green. It's bluish. And for some reason, I don't know what it is. They they seem to they seem to sell pretty good. Um, yeah. So I paid seventy nine cents for this. I listed it July thirtieth. Sold it September twentieth. I got ten bucks. Ten bucks free shipping for a can jar lid. You know, honestly though, if I'd have sold it for seven dollars and nineteen cents plus two ninety nine shipping, like I sell the other ones, I would have made a little bit more, like than, as I do on the clear ones. But I had sold one of these recently for the full fifteen dollars, so I, you know, I took the offer because I'm, I'm not going to turn down ten bucks for a can jar lid. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so that's it. So next, tops, Parker Brothers. Pro Draft football game. These are the cards from it. There's 33 of the 33 cards. I do not know if they were supposed to be more. I don't know how it went. I got the game for what I, I paid. I think I paid 50 cents for the game. Well, I paid a dollar. I paid a dollar for the game. Got it at the, at the Goodwill. Paid a dollar for the game, and I broke it up into like I think four different four different parts like this. And there was a, a little, I think there's a little football or, some, or something. There's a couple different. I still have a few little parts, a couple little parts. I think I broke it into. into so basically, these were a quarter, you know. And uh, I listed it September 18th, 2017. Sold another part out of it already, like almost right away. And then I thought these would be the first thing to go, but I had them priced high, so they didn't. But anyway, yeah, they sold on September 20th, and I took a $13 offer for them with free shipping because I'd had them long enough. It was time to go. So didn't sell as well as I thought maybe they might. So next, but at least I tried, you know, I tried. So sorry about that light behind my head. It'd be nice when I get it back up in the uh, end my other office. We won't have to deal with that. So next, this was, this was fun. This was really fun. Um, snow babies, Bobby Soxer, Department 56. Had the original box. You can see there in the background. Uh, I'm not sure what's, what's it say. It says I paid $3.99 for this thing. So I must have known. I must have looked it up when I bought it. $3.99, that's a goodwill price. I must have known when I bought it that it was worth something. I listed it. Problem is I listed it March 17th, 2016. I listed it two and a half years ago. <laughs> And uh, I sold it. I sold it September 20th, and I did get 30 bucks plus shipping. So I got 30 dollars for it, but I had to wait two and a half years to get it. So, and probably because there's a lot of other people that need to move it quicker than I do. So I kind of just forgot about it. I knew it was there. It was on the on the shelf with the other stuff, and I I, I but I'd forgotten what I'd priced it. I'd forgotten. I just didn't remember anymore. It's been so long. So, but it's gone now. So. And I got my 30 bucks, so woohoo! Next. I do happy dances for $30. You might not, but I do. Um, 
Oh yeah, before I say this, I, I also sold a Revereware lid for uh, a saucepan. Uh, sold that on True Gather for uh, $8.09. So, just wanted to stick that in there. I don't have a copy of that. I don't have a picture of that listing, but it's here. So, But I did sell it. So, I guess it wasn't on eBay. It was on True Gather. But, alright. So, more importantly, sold these uh, coin albums. Whitman coin albums. If I get these cheap enough, I usually pick them up and I'll sell them in lots. Sometimes, some of them you can sell... Uh, single but usually that you gotta have a lot a, a group of them so I paid about a quarter for all of these I got them in a bag lot a bag lot at the niche so they had a two or three dollar bag sale in in their knickknack section or whatever and this was these were in there and so uh, I stuffed them in the bag and uh, I listed them January 26th sold them the September 21st and I got I got 17 bucks plus shipping, so that's not really anything to sneeze at. I don't think it took me quite a while to get them, nine months. But hey, next and this is a travel blanket. This might have been the last one. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not the last one. I did I did I had these for well. Let's see. I, well, I paid nine dollars nine dollars for it. I originally had five of them. I could have bought more at the time. I just didn't. I'm glad I didn't because I listed them March 18th. They took up a lot of space. I listed them March 18th and sold this one September 21st. I, got, I did get $20 for it, free shipping. Uh, so I, I didn't make a make a whole lot on them after shipping costs. So they weren't really that great a deal. I mean, I mean, I mean, I did make a few bucks on them. Don't get me wrong, but uh, they they sat around for a while, and I probably shouldn't have gotten them. So anyway, that's that. They're all gone now. So they they once they started to sell, they sold right out within a couple of days. So uh, this is I don't know if this is the first one or the, or the last one that sold, but. We'll find out in subsequent videos, but anyway, yeah, they all sold very quickly after that. After that first one sold, so probably because I finally burned out, burned through everybody else who was undercutting me. So, no, nah, they weren't undercutting me, Dave. They weren't undercutting me. They were getting the best price they could for their items. Stop being negative about other people's prices. Everybody has, yeah, be good, Dave, be good. Look, I have a snowman. A little snowman pen, see him? He's cute. Found him in a box of stuff. And I just put him here. Uh, I should list him. Anyway, next. I got off a little bit right there, didn't I? Next. Uh, this is a mistake. I, I bought these. I paid 50 cents a piece for these at Walmart. And I put them up in lots of four. You notice it says on the box, it says four coils. So there's four boxes with four coils a piece. My title says four boxes, 20 coils. Hmm. That's because I was going to do five boxes a lot. And I had the listing started, and I changed it to four boxes, and I forgot to change that. Sold three lots before I realized I did it. And then I quickly ended the auction and refunded some of what I owed. I, I basically took a quarter of what I'd gotten paid and sent it to them. So anyway, um, initially, I got... Uh, I paid two bucks, sold or listed September seventh, sold September twenty first, and they sold for fifteen ninety five. And I didn't, I didn't take the discount out. I don't know what it was. I didn't take the discount out for my totals. So anyway, other than that, I didn't have any returns. I didn't have any cancellations. I didn't have any non-paying bidders. So everything that I sold actually sold. So uh, I paid altogether sixty sixty nine dollars for everything that sold and I my gross sales were five hundred and seven dollars so that's it five hundred and seven dollars for the week so I appreciate you watching thanks for uh, 
watching all the way through to the end. If you got this far, you might as well hit the like button since you got this far. And uh, there's always that subscribe button up there if uh, you want to see more videos like this. Although I, I get a little behind. This is obviously today is uh, October 10th and this video is for the second week or uh, third week of September. So I'm a bit behind. So uh, anyway, that's just that's just the thing. So and so that's it. So I hope you get a bunch of stuff listed and uh, it is it is that fourth quarter's right there and you know sales should start coming in. I, I'm seeing well I did have seen an uptick in sales. So uh, you may want to get you may want to get some things listed get get uh, working on it. So all right. You have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.